I love a row, as anybody knows, and I love to twitch curtains. And I love to see what's going on and uh, stick me beak in, to be perfectly honest with you. And one of my favourite programmes on TV that I watch religiously, because it's very helpful for me, I like nicking stories, you see. I don't like thinking of them myself. So always watch Look North. In the morning, 7.30, we've got Lisa and Keely doing the weather. And uh, and Miss Frisbee, very, very good in the morning. I don't know how she does it getting up at 3 o'clock and looking showbiz and gorgeous as well. And then on the late bulletin at 6.30, where I'm having me tea, I always watch Look North. And I've started to see a theme, a theme that Krista has something going on with Paul. And I don't know whether it's good, bad or indifferent, but it pricks up my ears. And the chemistry between them, well, it's marvellous. So then, then I was on Tuesday night, sat there with me tea on me lap, me Mr Brain's faggots with peas and carrots. And there's this thing about Strictly Come Dancing. They do a beautiful feature. Beautiful made as well. Very, very cleverly made. It was a live thing interviewing the stars of the tour. And then this happened. Tickets are still available, so do come along. It promises to be amazing. <laughs> Seven! Sorry. Just, That's what you used to say, isn't it? What? Is that, is that your score for Paul? <laughs> <laughs> you see, she's made her first mistake already, because she's had a dig. And I love that. Already, you see... She's bringing Paul into it. Nothing to do with Paul yet, because he's just doing the weather. So then his Raya gets up, you see. Paul's very smart. And by the way, I think he's probably the best weatherman in this country. I've never seen a man more comfortable on the TV doing weather. And he's a proper meteorologist as well. Not one of these daft things that goes on the telly just reading scripts. He actually knows his weather. So Krista got in the first boot, you see. She kicks him. And then he kicks back. I could, you know, I could see you on the next series, you know, yeah, moving, I'm, moving around like Anne Widdicombe. I think you'd, I think it'd be uh, quite a big. That's hit, not really you? nice. That's. Not- I mean, you just don't say it to Krista. You know what I mean? I mean, it's okay, but you're not to. I mean, you don't. She's the star of the show. So they've had this thing where she's kicked him and now he's kicked her. Let's listen again. Tickets are still available, so do come along. It promises to be amazing. <laughs> and by the way, can we stop that? Amazing. It's amazing, love. But carry on. Seven. Sorry. Just, what you used to say, isn't it? So what? Harry's trying to be funny, you see, which I love Harry because he's brilliant. By the way, I was watching him on the screen yesterday in our studio here in the radio station. I get to watch the rehearsals. And if I think if they knew that we were watching it with sound, by the way, they'd have it banned. I would. I wouldn't let anybody listen in on my rehearsals or my pre-records because you say terrible things. I was watching them yesterday setting up the cameras. Harry looked so bored. He was sat there waiting for hours, the poor man. Let him go. He's a legend. Is that, is that your score for Paul? <laughs> I could, you know, I could see you on the next series. You know, yeah, moving, I'm... moving around like Anne Widdicombe. I think you'd, I think it'd be uh, quite a big. That's hit. not very yeah. nice. Right now, so he says that's not very nice. Now on TV, silence for a second feels like four hours. Yes, yeah, okay. I think that's a little cruel. Bearing in mind how often you got the weather wrong last year. Yeah, that is I true. thought we'd made a pact. I wouldn't mention that. And, right. Okay. No high. Either. No All right, we'll start, we'll draw a line, shall we? Shall we be nice From now on, otherwise I think you're in trouble. <laughs> terribly boring. So then the next night, I was watching, I was watching, I was all excited. I sat there, 6.30, I was ready to go. I was ready to go, and it happened again. What was that? Is that a hat? You, you need to warm that. It's better, it's better than the one you wore in the snow anyway, isn't it? Mungo and shoddy. Do you remember? That's yeah. what it used to be called, the waste. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean you were shoddy. <laughs> I'm not being drawn into this uh, clothes discussion. Are you Got shocked? <laughs> Are you surprised? We said we'd be nice last night, didn't we? So well, can we just have a weather? Comment. Yeah, well, I've got two nice pictures that you might like to look, have oh, a look at. Play me now. Just, I've got three words for you from that. Uncomfortable. <sighs> Listen again. What is that? Is that a hat? Yeah, you need to warm that. It's better than, the one, cozy. better than the one you wore in the snow anyway, isn't it? Mungo and shoddy. Do you remember? That's yeah. what it used to be called, the waste. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean you were shoddy. <laughs> I'm not being drawn into this uh, clothes discussion. Are you Got shocked? <laughs> Are you surprised? We said we'd be nice last night, didn't we? So well, can we just have a weather? Comment. Yeah, well, I've got two nice pictures that you might like to have a look at. Oh, in other words, shut up, Paul, and do your weather. That's what we're paying you for. I love it. Could you be a teenage idol?